going over today are simple setup steps to ensure a successful deployment with the Simple End device. First, we'll want to verify that the Simple End device is pre-provisioned within our dashboard, static IP information as well as the MAC address of the Simple End device. Next, we'll want to go ahead and verify again, just the MAC address label on the back matches with what we've entered into the dashboard. Then we can go ahead and actually work on unboxing the Simple End device. It should be supplied with a Ethernet cable as well as power cable. For now, we're just going to go ahead and use the power cable and plug the Simple End into power. We'll verify the light connectivity on the front side of the device, indicating that the far left light should be lit right now, again, indicating power. Next, what we'll want to do is get in contact with our ISP and verify that the modem that we'll be using today is in a full bridge mode. IP pass-through, there are many different names for it. But basically, we want to shut off all NAT functionality, any filtering functionality, firewall functionality, DHCP, basically anything on that device. Contacting your ISP is going to be the easiest way to do this. There's many modems out there and many different types of them. Once we have all of that set and once we've verified that, we're able to move on to the next steps here. Alrighty, so a little bit of a recap of where we're at currently. We've completed step one and step two here. So step one, uh, verifying that the dashboard configuration for the Simple End device is, is set in the dashboard, along with any IP information that we'll need. Step two is verifying that the ISP supplied modem is in a full bridge mode. Fully accessible, everything's passing through directly to us, along with public IPs with no filtering, no DHCP, no NATing, basically no nothing. Once we've had that verified, we can actually go ahead and make the physical connection here. As you can see, only one lit light is lit on the Simple End device as it currently sits, the far left light indicating power. We'll go ahead and make the ISP supplied connection from the modem to the Simple WAN WAN port, W-A-N. Alrighty, so that has been set now. So currently what we're waiting for is the middle light to go solid. We have a couple of minutes until that's actually going to be taking place here, but that's typically what you're looking for is this middle light to go solid and then that middle light to start flashing. Middle light going solid indicates that it is identified an internet connection. Middle light flashing indicates that it's going through a speed test of that connection. Light has gone solid now, and shortly hereafter, the middle light will start flashing. Oh, that middle light is starting to flash slowly, but is flashing. So currently, right now, it is important to let the Simple One device fully go through its process here. What we'll be waiting for next is three solid lights indicating that the device is fully booted, it's checked in with the cloud config server, it's sucked down all of those changes, and everything's being applied to the device. In this process here, as that middle light is flashing, and as it's going through its full boot process, it's checking in with our cloud config server for any you know, updates to that configuration, applying any changes, firewall rules, WAN information, port forwarding, secondary WAN information, so on and so forth. It's really grabbing that copy, again, from that dashboard and applying it to the Simple WAN device. Again, once we have all three lights solid, it's indicate that that copy has been applied to the Simple WAN device, and everything is up and operational at that point. Now, Simple One device has three solid lights, fully lit, and ready to go. Should be able to get up to the internet now and continue on with any configuration changes pushed down from the dashboard.